everyone. What we'll be presenting has to do with a drama. Yay! A drama on the subject um, child abuse. Please, when I'm talking, you don't talk. When I'm talking, you don't talk. Yes, ma. Yes, yes, sir. Good. On the um, subject child abuse, we are to create our own story line, have directors, director or two, script writer. I don't know what goes into it, but anyone with filming background, I know it's Debbie. Debbie so she's going to do more of, you know, telling us what we, we will need. And in terms of casting, hope we understand. Okay, so what, what concept do we have? That's the thing. What, uh, what have we decided to do? Brainstorm. Please, let's share ideas then. Child abuse. Two kids. Two kids and one kid. Everybody. Ten minutes. This is, this is something that I've tried to... Let, let, me, let me just put it down the way it is in my head. It all began in the year 2004 when Rita and John lost their dad, um, lost their both parents to a ghastly motor accident. And <clears throat> life had to push them to separate ways and Rita was with her aunt. John was a houseboy, decided to be a houseboy in Lagos. And they were both tender. All right? So we have to indicate all those things. They were both tender to know their age rates and all that. You want to say something? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes yeah. So it means it's, more, it's going to be less words and more actions. We have no, this like, is a story. Like, it's a story, like, but what you're saying right now, for us short. to be able to create So we are starting from, we are, we are starting from, listen, we are so starting we from their yeah. separate yeah. ways. And somebody's going to narrate what happened. Okay, yes. so if that, it's going to be a narrative drama. Narrate what happened in 10 minutes. Why don't we make a musical? Like, act, wow. like those musical. movies. Acting. Yeah, yeah. Acting. Yeah. That is drama. Like, like child Perry or something. So, brilliant. Now, this, okay, I, I, so people you, are saying that when, um, like, Uma has gone. Yeah. Sorry, I, you guys there, allow me to finish. That was sorry, a problem. Sorry, sorry. That's actually... Okay, okay. I understand. Well, we still work on that. Everybody has to work on that. Okay. Now, um, Rita and John. No, no, everybody. Rita and John, all right? Rita and John. Now, John is a houseboy in Lagos. I attend that age because he's working for one man in Lagos. And he's just 15. Good. Rita is the youngest. Rita is just nine. And she's already at house help for, because the aunt is maltreating her. So the first scene we are showing mm. is Rita. We're not showing how the accident happened. We've already explained what happened. How is Rita? Rita is nine. John is 15. So we're not working with our, like, like well, obvious ages. Now you guys can, no, we can be nine. Acting. It's, it's, it's we are play. acting, so it's just like nine, so you act nine. So Rita is nine. I suggest yeah. that it's, we use all of this building for the acting. This yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, it was so nice. Somebody can be sweeping the room upstairs, yeah. and then Mama and Rita's auntie can say, "Rita, Rita, have you brought my clothes downstairs?" Rita, Rita will say, "Monty, I'm coming." She run down the stairs, giddy, 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 run to the bathroom, bring out some clothes, and say, "Auntie, I wash these clothes." Pour me the clothes and say, "You just I told you to wash clothes." Yeah. The idea is that we have to use the bathroom, we have to use the kitchen, we have to use our rooms. Let me talk, please. I know. We, we, we. What I'm trying to say here is fine. Child abuse, fine, Rita, John, fine, singing, crying, anything. How, what is the story? How is it going to end? Do you understand? Let's just say, how, I don't see. It has to have an end. How is it going to end? Is it going to end bad or good? Is it going to end like, okay, Rita gets, Rita and John meet someone, meet someone that actually changes their lives. Or does it end bad like, okay, Rita and John still, you know, they're still yes, like I, I, getting yeah. abused now, at Peter the end. And John are already this yes, uh, stupid. Like, uh, what meeting are you guys holding there? The they are already Clement. because of association, because of the things they've experienced, <laughs> because of, because of life, they are corrupt. Yeah, so right. now, along the line, they met someone who went through worse, and this person happened to keep come out of that challenge that they are in, <laughs> in at that point in time. And so that person, because of this positive, um, whatever is positive. Um, the way the person is, the person brought them out of that situation. Thank you. Based on what you were saying, you show the, char the character with certain traits that makes people wonder why the person is acting the way the person is acting, smoking or something else. You make people wonder why the person is acting like that because society now turns the person as abnormal. And then we now go back, which which I was going to suggest that, okay, we see probably if um, um, Melody, is um, Rita, right? 
and she's the person everybody is seeing as a normal. And then you want to now take the story back. Um, Flourish could be the nine-year-old Rita, which goes, so it doesn't have to necessarily be one person. Flourish mm -hmm. continues the story for Rita. So you're going back, but then they come back to Melody, and we're trying to show the redemptive side of whatever. We can't just leave the problem unsolved. We have to show that, okay, there's something. We could have, it could be someone she encounters, through a passion she likes, probably singing or something else, she encounters somebody and the person is even able to tell her from just seeing her and make her feel that, okay, what she's doing is totally normal based on what she's gone through before in her life. And doesn't just leave her there, but actually helps her, redeems her, you know, brings out the redemptive side of whatever it is she's gone through in life. So at the end of the day, you're giving a solution to a problem and making the audience see that, okay, I might have this problem, but it can, there, that it can be solved. I can, and a lot of people are in the same situation. So we're actually trying to pass the message across at the same time you know, trying to achieve the whole plot. Oh. We now have the background. Oh. Oh. Debbie and Ruki. We so now have Debbie. the background, the storyline. Yeah. So background. right now, in order for us to get, um, to be able to get the cast, the girls will go and write the same background, like write a story. The guys will do the same. Tomorrow we meet here and then be like yeah. get the characters. The girls out should of write the story. The guys should write the music. Let's spread the work so we can get it faster. Let's get the story first. We but can we only without, without a story. We have the body. body. We have a body now. We have a body. Okay. Okay. Have a body. So okay. Have story. So the girls will write a story. Sure. So the girls will write the story and then the guys. Clement and this let's do some stuff. All right. So we are cool. What a feeling! Hello. 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 Who's the clown in the house? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> the boys chop knuckle, the girls hug. Oh, chop knuckle. Chop knuckle. <laughs> Chop knuckle. This one does <laughs> Hello. Look at him. What's the guy they hug? Isn't it? <laughs> What's your name? Ugo. Ugo. Hello. Oh, I remember you. Hello. I remember you. Hello. Because I need your hug. Hug the side. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry for him and hug. Hi. Hi, man. Ugo. Wow. How are you guys doing? Good. Yes, like, I was, should I come in and say, hello, children? Uh -huh. Hello, Auntie. Hey, like, Once upon a time. Time, time. time. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Hey. Hmm. My name is Adesua Onyenekwe. And I am a uh, huh, communication expert because I've done communications for the past 29 years. Well, the bottom line, I said, I'm going to talk to all of you about um, the gift and talent and managing it. Because first of all, we all have the gift of life. We all have life, and that's what's important, you know. But then we all have the gift of a voice, you know. I have the gift of talking. The point is, you know, you have a gift, you are groomed. This is the house where you are going to be groomed. You're going to learn everything. So I want all of you to take it as a class, a class where you absorb as much as possible. You drill yourself. You know that you want to win. You know that you're probably going to win. But even if you don't come out with that star prize, you are winners. And when they say that, in fact, when they say that, it's not a joke. Because you think about the thousands of people who tried to get this far and they didn't. I mean, I'm sure all of you have seen other reality shows where a winner comes out, but it's number two or number three that's a star. So that's why, what are you here for? Do you want to be the winner? Do you want to be a star? or do you want to express your gift? So I would advise, go for expressing your gift, learn everything that you can, and be prepared to use it, whether as the winner or as number 16. But I hear that is a good bunch. So what do we do first? Do you have questions? Do you have things you want to know? Okay, let's just start with this guy. Um, I wanted to ask, um, I understand that um, being a creative person and um, from where you come from. Mm. There's, been, there's been days where you found yourself so down. There's been days where you actually um, 
thought uh, thought of um, okay why don't I just quit this and find something else to do I just want to know what kept you going on hmm I wanted to do my art of communicating because then I'm going to find somebody who has a story and I want to tell the story and I'm going to start asking questions again. Like I've been published, I have magazines for you guys actually. Can somebody step out and just bring them? I hear you can't redo, but step out. If you step out, you do and give everybody one copy each. And when this is all over, you, you know, you get your magazines. I, I, I published a magazine. I, I did a TV show called Today's Woman for a number of years after being a reporter for a number of years. And I published a magazine. So just share it out to everybody, one each. And, um, and incidentally, this your house was my house for a period too recently because I was producing my TV show called Seriously Speaking, you know? So I'm back on TV again. So if I, and I will tell you in all of those years, at times I said, I'm not doing this again. Seriously Speaking started happening when I said, I'm tired of this job. I can't continue like this. But there's always something I want to share and I go on. And when I also think that there are many people coming from behind, you know what I mean? who are learning from you. And we just get up and continue. What's your question, babe? I want to ask about him, because in the entertainment industry right now, we have broken homes. Yeah. So yeah. How, do you, how, do you manage, you, eh? yes, how do you manage your home? Like, definitely we're going to get married in the future. Hopefully. Is everybody yes. going to get married? Anybody married here? No. Do they allow no. married people come in here? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get married in the future. So I just want to ask, how, how do you manage your career and your, your home? The bottom line is you have public scrutiny. Your partner is going to be uncomfortable with it. So the more he knows about your job and what you're doing and where you're at, the better for him. It works best that way. Uh, in Ghana, TV and radio arts, it's a male-dominated one. I don't mm -hmm. know about Nigeria, because in Ghana there are very few women who really stand out mm -hmm. in terms of radio and TV, apart from film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the Nollywood. So how has it been for you as a woman? If you're talented, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, you know. Here, uh, most, most things are still male-owned, but I think the women are doing quite well. We are, we are. I hear you guys have a task that you're supposed to be working on. It's some kind of drama. What is the task? Flourish, the quiet woman? It's a drama on mm -hmm. child abuse. Let, let's see what you guys have first. <laughs> MTN, everywhere you go. Project Fame! What a feeling! Everywhere you go. Project Fame! What a feeling! <laughs> Wow. 
All right, um, Rita, my name is uh, Dr. Kola. And uh, I saw you back there in the club and the way you were just all around men. Why, why are you doing this? What's the problem? You want to sleep with every man in one day? Is that how you do? Why, what has gotten into you? Why are you doing this? Can you just, okay, uh, you don't need to cry. Come on, no. You don't need to cry. Listen, I want to, I want to know more about you. Why are you doing what you're doing? I'm not so this to anybody in my life. Well, you're a different person. You don't have to cry. <laughs> no, 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 you don't do this. You don't have to cry. Okay. Just talk to me. What is it? My story started like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. If I should hear a word of this from anybody, I will kill you. Did you hear? Did you hear me? Why haven't they been watched? Oh, you're not listening to me. Shut up and get up. Get his jacket. You're not you're listening. You're still talking. Get up. Get up. Child. Oh, you should have died already. Look at the way you did me. Oh. My stepfather. You. You see, you see, that's why you are a survivor. No. You went through all these no. things no. and you're still here. I can't let go. I will never let go. No, you will let go. <laughs> I needed to understand that I was once like this before. All right, but look at my life today. I have a rehabilitation center and I am, you know, passing my message across to other people and getting them saved oh, from their problems. Know, you can do the same. Let go of your past and move on. All right, share your story with other women and tell them that it's not about child abuse. It's not, it's not about all those things they are harboring in their hearts. They can say it out. Let them talk about it. Let go of all these things in your head and become a lively woman again. Come on, dear. Hmm? Okay. You understand? Yes. <laughs> you, come on, just put a smile on your face and don't do this. Yes. All right, don't do this. You need to be strong. You need to be strong, like I say. There's I'm more. free now. Yeah, you are I'm free. Letting go. Yeah. Can you say say say, say it again? I want to say it. Letting go of my You're past. You're letting go yes. of your past. Yes. All right. That's good. That's good. Nice. That's a good step. All right. That's a good step. Come. That was beautiful. Battles comes all over me. All night stars in the sky they disappear. Battles cut, thank God they heal. I was bound to the ground, now I'm free. Battles cut, battles cut, and I'm like, whoa. Battles cut, battles cut. So Done. Except, of course, what are you saying? Beru scars? Or? Oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> oh, I know. You see what I'm talking about? The bed of scars. Are they saying bed of scars? Bed of scars. Bed of scars. Okay. So they heal. And you guys just put that together in one day? Last night? Yeah. Wow. You guys are so talented. I'm, I'm so proud of you, and I wish you well. Thank you so, so thank you. Permission to fall out. Thank you. Good night, all. Good night. Thank Bye. You. Where's the way out? Ladies. <laughs> thank you. Brought to you by MTN.